here and welcome back. I hope everybody's having a great day and I also hope that you've had your lunch because today's deck review might make you kind of hungry. Today we're going to be reviewing the pizza deck by Gemini Dex. I don't believe that this deck is out yet. We're also going to be taking a quick first look at the Gemini Casino Green Edition, also by Gemini Dex. These decks will be available soon so I'm happy you're here so you can get your first look at them and maybe be the first in line to buy them when they come out. Before we get started, please do drop a like on the video, and of course, subscribe if you haven't already. Without further ado, let's roll that intro and get you guys on your way. Let's go! Okay, so I'm not going to do a full review of the green Gemini Casino, only because I have reviewed the Gemini Casino decks on this channel before. This one is just done in green. A very pretty green though. The faces are mostly standard. Like that. Of course they feel great, they handle great. Gemini did a great job. So what we are going to focus on is the pizza deck. I saw this deck teased on Gemini's Instagram uh, a few months ago I think and I was really excited for it just because I love the kind of novelty decks. It's also a deck designed by Pinston and produced by Gemini so you know it's probably going to be a hit. The front of the tuck case looks like a pizza box. It says New York pizza. It's got some checkers above and below. And then you get two slices of pizza there at the bottom. And there's an address there. I don't know if that's maybe an actual pizza place or if that's where these cards are produced. I don't know what that is. One side of the deck says New York pizza. The other side has a phone number to call and order said pizza. You know what, try calling that and, and see what happens. The bottom, of course, has some Gemini ad copy and the top says playing cards. The back is the back design of the cards. It's just a mirror design of a bunch of pizzas and you do get a custom pizza seal. The entire tuck case is done in glossy card stock, so pretty standard there. Okay, first things first, this is your back design. So you get a nice, uh, I'd say about medium sized border and then just a red deck with a bunch of pizza kind of caricatures of pizza cartoons on it. I really like this. It's nice and simple. It's it's cute. Your jokers are gonna look like this. They say pizza in each corner and just have a slice of pizza on them. It'd be cool if there was like a reveal on these. Your ace of spades is basically just a representation of the tuck case. So you can see uh, it has standard index, but in the middle it just says New York pizza. I like that. Actually, I think that was cool. All right, now the rest of your deck is gonna be pretty much standard. The only customization that you're gonna find is on the court cards. Your court cards look like this. So they have been uh, pretty much stripped of all color except for red and black. And some customizations have been done to the uniforms. Uh, for example, the queen's crown says uh, pizza on it. You can see on one side, she is holding a slice of pizza. So I really like that. I think if you're gonna do a deck with, especially with a food theme, you gotta incorporate it in your court cards. King of diamonds looks like, queen of clubs, not bad. Not bad at all. Okay, now in terms of gaff cards, you are gonna get a blank card, and you also get a duplicate king of diamonds. So uh, that's always good too. Duplicate cards are very useful in Magic. Uh, now a common question is, would I use this deck for Magic? Yeah, I definitely could. Um, it's standard enough, it feels great. It's got that nice USPCC feel. And that brings us to the handling. These cards, like I said, are printed on, uh, feels like crushed bicycle stock. They're very thin, uh, very, definitely very snappy though. I can feel the, the tension in this deck, let's see. Yeah, for sure, very, very snappy. So that's good, that's a good thing. The cards are definitely not stiff, but they're not, they're not extremely soft either. Um, so I think it's kind of a, kind of a good mix between 
being like kind of pre-broken in and needing a little bit of work. This is what the cards look like in a fan. It's mostly just red and white, but uh, I like the contrast, it always looks good. The cards spread nicely, they look nice and even. Mine right now, because it's been uh, it's been a little bit humid here, has the, the click. So the best thing you can do for that is I'm just gonna keep, gonna keep messing with these cards, and hopefully uh, what'll end up happening is I'll just work out that little kink in there. Let's give these a shuffle. Now they ferro top to bottom. Do with that what you will. And this is what they look like in movement. Well guys, thank you so much for watching today's video. I really hope you enjoyed it. If you're interested in picking up the pizza deck by Gemini or the new green Gemini casino deck, they will be available soon, but I will leave the website where they'll be available down below. As always guys, please don't forget to like this video and subscribe if you haven't. And of course, big shout out to Anthony Davis out in Alaska. Well guys, with all that being said, I hope everyone has a wonderful rest of their weekend. I know I will. <laughs> and I'll see you guys tomorrow. Peace.